What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I finally got the Xbox Series X. Now I did an unboxing of the PS5 and yeah, I was always going to do an unboxing of the Series X whenever I got it. Just, you know, so in the future I know exactly when I've got it. I'm weird like that, but anyhow. Um, if you want a link to try and get this, if you haven't got it, or the PS5, I'll leave a link in the description to a place that I got it from, which was a hot stock. Well, I didn't get it from them, but they alert you as soon as there's stock in anywhere like uh, Smith's, which is where I got a Smith's toys. Uh, it's UK, US, that kind of thing. Uh, it's got game, it's got Amazon, it's got practically everything. So uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description and trust me, it's annoying trying to get one of these things. The amount of notifications I got uh, w was just absurd, but eventually I got one and I think I'm opening it upside down. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this. So, wow. I like that. That's nice and slick, like the way the box just opens up. Uh, we've got the Xbox there straight away, so we'll leave that until last. Wow, that's heavy. Jesus. So what do we have in here? So we've got um, instructions about the the controller, that sort of thing. You know, it's, it's not too exciting, really. But uh, it tells you the layout of the Xbox, you know, what, what's in it, that sort of thing. Um, Hmm, where is the control? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so it's a little package in the back. <laughs> and the box has fell over, but it says everything that we need is here. So, first of all, finally, Xbox decided to release a launch console without a stupid power pack. So, just an AC cable, standard, exactly what you need. HDMI cable, of course. Some instructions or warranty or whatnot, but again... Not really too exciting there. We've got the controller. Now, I'm intrigued about this. Um, I want to see how it compares, in my opinion, to the PS5, which controller was really, really good. Uh, you get batteries as well, but I think I think my plug-and-play kit will work on uh, this controller. But yeah, it feels very similar in weight to the, the Xbox One X. Uh, no, sorry, just the Xbox One. Bloody hell, they've got so many names. That's one thing PS5 did better just one two three four five the xbox i'm confused myself series x s it's just silly that was my cat anyway so uh yeah it's got the obviously the share button in the middle it's got more grips and textures and that sort of thing it feels nicer to hold but it's the same weight it's the exact same uh controller just with a few improvements so i like that comes with batteries as well if you don't have any uh two double a's of course um, now there's nothing else in the box, so I'll just double check before we actually check the console out. Um, but yeah, there's just foam and that sort of thing. But yeah, here we go with the actual console, which is heavy, Jesus. Uh, so power your dreams, that's Xbox slogan for the Series X. And I've probably got it upside down here. I feel like I've got it upside down here, uh, but we'll see. Yep, of course I do. Hmm. Hard to tell when it's wrapped, I suppose. But uh, yeah, we'll get it out of the actual packet and we'll see what this bad boy looks like. In comparison to the PS5, which I've obviously got and opened, it's a lot smaller. Um, I'll probably say it weighs about the same, but yeah. So if we look here, we've got everything at the back. Um, Ethernet cable, HDMIs, USBs, that sort of thing, standard stuff. Then if we turn it over onto the front, of course, Xbox didn't have a digital only version or else that's probably what I would have got. The Xbox One S, sorry, Series S is not as powerful as this one. So I wanted to get the X definitely. HDMI power, I presume, and then your disc slot there with the Xbox logo at the top. But yeah, it's a sleek design, but I I'm telling you, this thing is ridiculously heavy. So again, we're going to get a thumbnail shot here, but... Oh, finally, it was like gold dust, even worse than the PS5 to get. I got the PS5, uh, luckily, from Shop2, which, again, is on the site that I'm going to link. Uh, so if you do want to get them, it's your best chance. And trust me when I say I've been trying to get this since launch, and every single day it's got the most annoying alert, but it works. And eventually you will get one. But, yeah, there we go. I'll stand the controller, actually. On the front of it hopefully this time it doesn't drop like the ps5 one did but yeah so 
That's the Xbox One X, and uh, it's certainly the one I was more excited about. Um, I love the look of the PS5, but yeah, I, I, I just... I don't know, I've been an, an Xbox gamer since the 360, really, but uh, yeah, all right, well, there's my cat. So, you know, she, she's coming to say hello. But anyhow, that's going to be it. So that's the unboxing. Finally got it. I've got both next-gen consoles. So, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed, and peace.